Have you ever thought about giving up? Just giving up with complete disregard for your responsibilities, your health, your life? You stop working, you stop paying rent, you stop doing anything, just sit on the couch and wait. Uh, no, you can't give up, you only live once. Carpe diem, hakuna matata. Gotta make a best of it, bro. Yeah, well, that's uh, nice and all, but let's just say you're on a downhill slope and you don't have any energy to do anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, if that's what you're feeling, then of course, by all means, give up. Yeah. I mean, I didn't say I was going to give up. I said I'm thinking about it. Okay, I'm just thinking about it. You get it, right? Now I know what you're all thinking. Why is this guy complaining about anything? He should just get off his ass and get to work. Am I right? Well, that's why I thought it'd be a nice little idea to take a little metaphorical journey across a few flashbacks to get a bit of a better idea about my background. And maybe use a bit of these hand gestures just to make me look and feel a bit smarter. Okay, so imagine this, you're a videographer, you've been making videos for a few years now, you start experimenting with YouTube. And very quickly you start to realize that you haven't had this much fun in years. There are no rules and you can do whatever you want because it's your channel. And then, well, that sense of excitement starts to take over. You make one video after the other, building up a momentum. The energy is flowing out of itself. You're going from idea to idea to idea and it just seems like the sky's the limit. Well, what if one day out of nowhere, everything just starts to slow down? Every project takes a little bit more effort and you start to get a little sloppy, a little slower. And suddenly getting one little video done seems like an impossible task. As everything is taking more and more effort that you just can't seem to muster together. So then what? Well, then you start questioning if you even want to get out of bed in the morning. And you start reasoning with yourself to do a little bit less work and a little bit more scrolling on Instagram. And before you know it, that grand sense of excitement and momentum has now become just a distant, withering memory. So at this point in the story, you just have to stop and ask yourself, what do you do? On one side, you've got your body telling you to just give up. And on the other side, well, your mind's telling you to just keep going. And then, well, the friction between those two things is causing you a sense of weight and guilt for not doing enough. So what do you do when this rabbit hole you're tumbling into seems less and less like a temporary situation and more and more like a vicious cycle you're being slowly drawn into over time? Well, if and when that realization does finally hit, you have to make a choice. Of course, the more obvious choice would be to give up, stay on the couch for a month, play every video game known to mankind, watch YouTube videos all day, and sleep as much as you can. Until inevitably you get sick of that, you stand up one day and you say, I think I want to do YouTube videos again. Or you could just keep going. Just keep doing what you're doing day in, day out. And even though it might be slower, you're still doing everything you can. And with that small bit of effort and discipline, you'll work your way up the mountain one step at a time. And that's how you'll get back to a creative momentum, just by staying patient, being consistent, and above all else, just enjoying the process of rebuilding.